All right, the developer of this distribution contacted me on G Plus Tube yesterday and let me know that he has a new offering. It is based on Zubuntu. We are looking at the latest release of Dreams 1204 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, let's rock! On first glance, we have a pretty sleek looking XFCE desktop. Something uh, though, when I installed this, I had a very hard time reading the installer scripts. Now obviously I've installed a lot of Ubuntu based distributions, so I'm no stranger when it comes to looking at an installer, but uh, a word to the developer, your installer is way too dark and uh, some older people may have a little bit of difficulty reading it. I was kind of like squinting my eyes because the installer has a black theme applied to it and the text is like a dark gray. So, and it didn't have any slideshows or anything like that. Basically, you just fill out the information and there's a little progress bar. And that's all you see. That's okay though. All right. But when we look at this, uh, after it's installed, normally the panel is on the bottle, bottom. I prefer to put the panels up on the top of the screen, so that's the only alteration that I've made. I've just loaded this up into my uh, virtual box, and I'm going to go ahead and open up top to see how much memory this uses. Now, of course, this is very, very transparent here, so, I mean, if I had the window positioned over here in a lighter part of the picture, that text would be a little difficult for some people to read, but, you know, you can always change the uh, theme settings if you don't like them. So let's go ahead and do that now. And it's telling me that the full amount of memory, uh, including cached RAM that's being used right now, is 381 megs. So not bad. This will run on your older hardware with 500k of RAM installed on it. So that's not a bad thing. And you may be able to be able to get this working if you had an older computer running 256, uh, because of course this is also including cached RAM. So. All right, let's get that out of the way here. Okay, and they came up with a really nice software selection, and that's what makes this unique from other uh, Zubuntu distributions that I've looked at. They've come up with some pretty good software selections. So if you're looking for a lightweight distribution that has a little of something for everyone, this may be well worth having a look. Okay, so uh, first let's look at the uh, top of the screen and then we'll go into all the applications that you get with this. Okay, you get the uh, time and calendar here. Okay, you have your uh, connect internet connectivity right here. Uh, your email here, a volume control, your keyboard layout, two workspaces to switch from which you can easily change in the settings manager and make as many workspaces as you want and then of course if you're plugged into a laptop computer my main computer is a laptop obviously so it's always going to see that i have a battery installed on this thing and of course it's always fully charged okay uh, quick launch to your home just like the icon right here the terminal and you get two web browsers so if you don't like one or the other, you can pick the one you want and uninstall the one you don't want. Uh, so you get uh, both uh, the Chromium web browser and then of course for those of you who want to use Tor, you're going to need uh, the Firefox web browser and the Tor plugins and that sort of thing. Don't really know much about it because really <laughs> I don't care what the NSA looks at on my computer. I ain't got nothing to hide. <laughs> All right. So let's go into the menu here for Dreams OS. Now, um, something I did want to note, uh, the default web browser is set to open up Firefox, but that is something that is easily changed, okay? And something else I wanted to uh, point out, unlike other distributions that I have seen out there, this has a different package manager, and it's been a long time since I've seen this one. This application manager or software center is called Apper. 
and uh, looks fairly simple and easy enough to use. Everything is, you know, you can check and see all the software that you have installed. Uh, I know that there are some updates, so I didn't bother updating everything on this, but you can see what updates are available for your system. Everything is neatly categorized, and so this looks like this would be a very nice, lightweight um, package manager indeed. Okay, let's have a look at the settings manager that I just spoke about. Now, unlike other XFCE settings managers, you'll see a lot of your icons, uh, you know, categorized. You know, unfortunately, the developers didn't see fit to do that. They pretty much just threw it all into one spot. That may be convenient for some of you. Personally, I kind of like the categories a lot more. But most of the things you're going to need to tweak your XFCE desktop are here. Other than that, you're still going to need to use your settings manager here to get other things, such as maybe that additional driver, those proprietary drivers you need to have installed. Okay? Um, and then there are some other things in here as well. So for those of you who have NVIDIA cards, they thought of you. And so they included an NVIDIA X server settings uh, package in here. And, of course, a number of other packages are included in here to get the most of the system. And as I said, if you want to manage the number of workspaces, it's in here, too. All right, let's have a look at some of the accessories you get with this. They've got a bunch of really cool things in here. You get your archive manager, a bulk renamer. Gosh, I love this program, especially when you know you download uh, bulk images from your camera and that sort of thing, and you don't like how your camera names everything. You know, you can rename, okay, well, I went to this wedding on this date and that sort of thing, and you can just put in a certain value and it'll rename all those images for you. How cool is that? Really nice program. Okay, uh, it, you get a calculator with this catfish for searching for files, a character map for uh, inserting a really wonky character that you don't cheat on your keyboard. All right, uh, you get the Conky Manager, a bunch of themes loaded with this, but uh, I do not have this running for some reason. It kept crashing on me and it was giving me a notification on the upper right corner of the screen. Now, uh, I don't know if this is something just specific to my virtual machine or if it is a design flaw, but I figured I'd point that out to you developers. Um, you may need to, uh, and it could be, it may not be of any fault of your own. This could be something, a uh, 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 possible bug with the Conky Manager itself, but I did get crash reports every time the system booted up so I had to actually remove Conky from startup. You also get onboard on here so if you want to have an on-screen keyboard great uh, for accessibility and then here's another cool feature um, in many distributions if you press Alt F2 which would launch you know which would launch a window that would allow you to run an application well this is Synapse and uh, this is a program I really haven't covered on my show before, so I figured I'd take a moment to show this to you. Let's say you just want to find that application. And once you launch it, then you have the icon in your notification bar here so that you can just run this and uh, then find that application you want. So let's say we want to run the GIMP. Okay, you just type a few characters. It comes up, even shows you an icon, and it will launch it for you very easily. You also get a simple task manager. Uh, the Thunar file manager comes loaded with this, and of course, XF Burn, which is standard with any XFCE desktop. All right, and then uh, in development, you get Gini. This is a really cool, really cool tool for those of you who like to do programming and that sort of thing. This will also open your simple text files as well, but if you want to write, you know, your Bash scripts or your Python scripts, this is a good program to have a look at. A standard complement of games comes with this. Uh, the Isle Riot Solitaire, Free Cell Solitaire. Gosh, I haven't played Free Cell in a long time. Not very good at it, but yeah. Uh, you get Mahjong, my favorite, Minesweeper, and then of course Sudoku, haven't got a clue. Did I just rhyme? Sorry, I don't mean to rhyme all the time. And graphics. Now, they included a nice little complement of things in here, so apparently the developers must be graphics artists. So uh, you get Blender for doing your 3D modeling. You get uh, the Events Document Viewer, the GIMP Image Editor, the G-Thumb, Inkscape, 
for scalable vector graphics. Personally, I'm still tied to Flash. I love using Flash for drawing vectored images and that sort of thing. You get the Ristretto image viewer and simple scan. And then in the internet, I already mentioned you get Chrome, the Chromium, which is the open source version of Chrome, Firefox. You get Jitsi. This is a voice over IP instant messaging client. Now, uh, I had somebody make a request on uh, my old request area to cover some. This may be an application that you may want to look into. This will allow you to access multiple uh, instant messaging services such as uh, uh, AIM, ICQ, Yahoo, Google Talk, and all of them. You'll see there's a bunch of them here, finally opened up, <laughs> that you can uh, connect to and then sign in. You also get the Pigeon Internet Messenger. You get a Thunderbird Mail transmission for all of your BitTorrent needs. And then, of course, XChat IRC. And when you open this up, unfortunately, uh, it only opens up to the Debian server. So if you want to get help with most Linux-related uh, topics, you'll probably want to connect to Freenode IRC because this just connects directly to the Debian servers uh, in the state that it's in. In multimedia, a bunch of other applications have been loaded into this, clearly. So in its own right, this could be considered like a uh, lightweight multimedia distro because you do get the audacity with this. Uh, this comes with the Brazero disk burner. I still say XFCE is your best shot between the two. You get Curlew, uh, easy to use multimedia conversion. And uh, I opened the program yesterday, but I didn't really have any media files to test it in. This is a new one for me. Personally, I use the terminal. I just run FFmpeg and I do all of that because, well, it's just easier for me to do because now I have uh, little um, uh, shortcuts in my bash prompt and aliases, so I just type in a few little characters and it does it for me and <laughs> I don't even have to think about it. Okay, you get Go Music Browser, you get GovC View for all of you podcasters or webcasters out there that want to have your little camera on the screen while you're doing your distro reviews. Well, there it is. You get Katie and Live with this. Now, something I got to mention because uh, I'm a big Katie and Live fan. When I went and opened this, this was running uh, version, what version was it running? It was running 08 something. And kids, we are on 09. Point six and uh, version 1.0 will be the next stable release on this. See when I go into help and then about Kadian Live here, yeah, it's using 0821 and we are on 096. So if you even were using this distribution and you want to follow my Kadian Live series, you wouldn't be able to do the things that I do uh, in the series because this is so outdated. So that means you're going to have to install some PPAs on your system to get cutting edge software. And I kind of wish the developers had thought about that when they put this distribution together in that they should have included the most recent software packages in terms of, uh, you know, productivity. You get Parole, you get the Pulse Audio Volume Control, Rhythm Box, SM Player, Word, that is my favorite uh, media player and it is a front end for M player. I like it a lot more than VLC, but you know, try them both and see which one you like the best. VLC also comes included with this. Vocal Screen is a great program that will do your screen capturing for you. Um, uh, mind how many frames a second though you're capturing at because I've had a, even some issues with uh, audio visual synchronization. So yeah. All right, then of course, XF Burn, as I mentioned earlier. You get the full LibreOffice suite, along with the standard uh, Orange Calendar and Orange Global Time with this. Uh, GNU Merrick uh, Dictionary, and of course, Abbey Word. And of course, all the system tools uh, that you'll need for tweaking your system are here, with the inclusion of backing up your computer. Um, so all in all, good stuff. You get the GW Package Manager, so now when you download your dev files, just double click them. GW picks them up and makes it easy for you to install packages. So very nice job. It looks good. I just wish the software were a little bit more updated. Uh, nicely themed. Let's have a look at 
uh, some applications or desktop settings I should say okay and it's got a nice little collection of wallpapers preloaded with this so if you don't like the default thing you can definitely change it and do something cool apparently uh, the developers uh, like Maja if you think this is something you'd like definitely download it check it out let me know what you think about it put it in the space below and just a friendly reminder, please support the show hosts that are creating the content you enjoy the most. Please consider disabling your ad blockers or shouting your favorite show host a few coins. Peace out.